Hey guys, it is Eka from Fred with CJ Laughing and I'm here with a book review today. So I am going to be talking about The Making of Molly by Anna Carey and I did not plan this but I am wearing my Irish green jumper, my green eyeshadow and I'm talking about a book set in Ireland written by an Irish author and published by an Irish book publishers. So it all just really worked out today. Um, so this is a children's kind of a middle grade slash very young YA book um, about a little girl called Molly. She's 14 years old and she's living in Dublin in 1912 and she basically just realises that her older sister has a secret and she decides that she really really wants to figure out what her uh, sister is hiding and she eventually finds out that her sister has joined the Irish suffragette movement and Molly of course wants to join in and she you know she's only 14 she can't really do much and this is just basically her um her kind of story written it's kind of told through letters that she's writing to her pen pal um over in the UK and she's just basically telling her pen pal about all of her adventures trying to be a suffragette um this is a really really fun book and um, it's told really really well and I just really enjoyed my time reading it um first off Molly is a really great character she is very vivacious she's intelligent and um, but she has this kind of real lovable quality about her as well and um, she's a little bit cheeky at times but then and she's kind of one of these like she'll give out about everything but you can sense there's this big deep love that she has for a lot of things even though she gives out about them like her family and her brother and school and stuff like that um but she's just a really really great character and you can really could see her going around and sneaking into the suffragette meetings and trying to do what she can to help the cause and she's like really really just really invested and she's just really into it and supportive of the cause um, and it was just really great learning about the Irish suffragette movement through Molly um, because she's obviously telling it through almost a childlike point of view so for people who don't know that much about the suffragette movement in Ireland it was very easy to understand because of how she was telling us. Um, the writing of this is really authentic as well obviously it's set in historical Dublin um, and there are a lot of things in this that you know um, you know would have to ha would have to have been looked up um, and then obviously Anna Carey is Irish so she knows a lot about obviously Dublin and the history of Dublin and stuff like that and she obviously did her research and um, so just little things about like you know, like money how the uh, transport would have been even the names of the streets because this was set before um kind of a lot of changes in Ireland so there are some streets that had different names back then than they do today and they had more kind of English names back then because obviously we were still un under British rule um so and um, there are these things that there are sometimes the street would be mentioned I'd have to double check my history I'd have to kind of think for a moment and be like oh like but where is this today and then I'd remember and um, so that was really great like it was just interesting just from my point of view just being an Irish person remembering that you know not everywhere it was named the exact same um as the, as it is today so um I really really enjoyed that and again um the suffragette movement in this there's a lot of talk um that molly relates back to her pen pal about she hears people talking and people's kind of arguments um against the suffragette movement and how they think that it could um mess with the home rule movement and the home rule movement was this really really big movement in ireland around this time um, and up towards the 1916 rising where basically they were fighting that we would have control the british would kind of still have you know kind of ownership over Ireland away in a way that they did but there would just be a little bit more power given back to the Irish people and it was something that was really really pushed forward and then after the 1916 rising it kind of all just fell apart um, and you know this because obviously this is 1912 so none of that had happened yet but it was still something that was being pushed forward and there were still a lot of um, supporters for it and there was a lot of interesting arguments about whether the suffragette movement could hinder the home rule movement and you know would the women voters vote home rule or could they go against it and end up ruining it and stuff like that and I could understand why that would be a legit legitimate concern for Irish people at that time so that was just really interesting again as for an Irish person to be reading it it was really interesting to see it um, related through this and again and I'm like 24 years old so even for a younger reader to be reading this whether you're 12 13 14 um, it would have been a really great kind of almost history lesson as well so um, I really enjoyed that about it this story is just really fun like even just the things that um, Molly gets up to and she kind of ropes in her friend Nora um, her best friend into the movement as well she kind of tells her about it and the two of them decide that they're going to be 100% suffragettes and you know they can't really do as much much because they're 14 and they're almost a very young 14 I would find that Molly is a very very young 14 she's more she so comes across as 11 12 sometimes more so 
um, at least I'm pretty sure she's 14. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm, I think she's 14. But she comes across a little bit younger. Nora and Molly really kind of figure out ways that they can help, even though, you know, they can't do that much. Like things like um, the way they used to tell people about the meetings. They used to write uh, the meetings in chalk on the ground and about details and like price and emissions and stuff like that. And Nora and Molly decide they're going to do this. And it's just kind of a bit of fun and um, a little bit of cheekiness as well. And like at one point a man thought they were praying and he saying like well how good they are to be praying um these two little girls and then they turn around they're like actually we're suffragettes and he's like just absolutely uh flabbergasted and you know disturbed by the fact that these little girls would be suffragettes and that the suffragettes have roped uh, young girls into doing this stuff for them even though they're obviously doing it of their own accord but that's just like a really fun bit and that's actually taken um from history as well, like there was an instance like reported in a paper where this man did see these women um, on the ground and he thought that they were praying but it turns out that they were actually writing about suffragette meetings on the ground um, to tell people about them so that was actually kind of a true instant that uh, Anna Carey brought over and put into the book. Um, so yeah it's just a really really great book I really really enjoyed all my time reading it I gave it a four out of five stars a really strong four out of five stars um, and I would definitely recommend anyone who's just kind of interested um, in this to check it out and um, this definitely highlighted for me that um, I know very little about the Irish suffragette movement and I'm almost like ashamed of that I didn't realize how little I knew um, or how big the movement even was in Ireland and um, it's just not something I think because our history is so clogged down with fighting the British and getting back control um, from the Brits and you know the, the six, 1916 rising and then the civil war and all that kind of stuff um, that is kind of what I would always think of where I would almost forget about the the suffragette movement even though one of the um, main uh, people that used to talk about in the 1960 rising was Countess Markovich and she would have been a suffragette so now that's kind of the only thing I would really know and um, so this is definitely kind of spurred me to go and uh, check out some other books um, about the suffragette movement in Ireland and I'm definitely going to be reading them soon um, and hopefully next year as well and just try and learn as much as I can because it turns out that it's a lot more interesting um, than I probably thought it would be so yeah so thank you guys for watching I hope anyone who's interested picks up this book because it was a really fun read and I'll see you guys again next time bye